I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. doubt about it, masks are one of the best tools we have to control the spread of coronavirus. So while the rules around face coverings are changing every day, the science is clear. Masks aren't mandatory in every state, but the CDC recommends everyone wear cloth face coverings in public settings, especially when it's hard to practice social distancing. So what does wearing a mask do? The coronavirus is spread through respiratory droplets that people release when talking. Yeah, just talking coughing or sneezing. The mask's function is simple. It serves as a physical barrier blocking these droplets from reaching other people. Even if you're not experiencing any symptoms, you could still have the virus and could spread it inadvertently. Masks are most useful when widely used in public settings. Let's look at two people. When no one is wearing a mask, risk of spread is high. Put a mask on one person, that risk decreases. And if both people wear a mask, it's a low risk that the virus will be spread. In April, researchers in Hong Kong collected samples of respiratory droplets from people infected with the coronavirus. They compared levels of the virus in samples from people who were and were not wearing masks. Without masks, 30 to 40% of the samples contained the virus. But with masks, none of them did. Another recent study found that the transmission rates dropped in states that made masks mandatory. So for your safety and the safety of others, keep wearing those masks.